what you got going on? Well, I decided with the way I shoot sometimes, I need to bring more bullets than just what I have in my quiver. Fair. So I'm getting about five or six more primed up and ready to go. That's uh, been a year since we were up there. And Brad and I is kind of the same story as last year. A couple of us put in for tags. It's going to be fun going hunting Miss Jerry again and Miss Diane and their family to us now. We've been going up there for so long. and That's sometimes good and sometimes bad. He'll let you know what he thinks in a hurry. <laughs> But uh, I enjoy going up there. We're going to have fun. We're leaving first thing in the morning. Then we get the truck packed up here in a few minutes and uh, get some sleep and head that way. I did mention that Brad's got a tag, but none of us have seen him today. He says he's on the way. We talked to him like at one o'clock today and he was like four hours behind us. So we don't know if he's gonna show up tonight or not. Jerry I'm down with Baltimore Ranger. He liked ours so much last year. Made it. We're here. I'm gonna sneak in the house. Give me some sleep. No, I'll be up in the morning with some coffee and see what the plan's gonna be. Well, the plan is to check some spots with Jerry and put up a few stands. We're going to have west and north winds this week, so we need to get a few extra spots ready to hunt. And this spot is unique. We've nicknamed it the Chicken House. This is a pretty good setup. I think. So you always find turkeys, deer, whatever around these old homesteads. And Jerry brought us in here to look at it. And golly, it's pretty cool. It's a old homestead. There's a old corner post over there where they used to hook up horses back in the day. And it's freaking tore up with deer sign too. Should be pretty good. Chicken house spot. This is our first set in Kansas hunting Mr. Jerry again on Page Farms. And uh, this is a spot I've never sat at before. I seen this stand we, when we were in here turkey hunting a few years back, and I was like, golly, that thing's in a good spot. I'm pretty excited about it. While we were getting set up, actually, had a little fork horn buck cruise the bottom down there, and uh, we saw a big buck out in the prairie, locked down the doe a while ago, so we're, in, we're up in amongst them. And, uh, it's such a cool spot because you're transitioning from prairie to ag down here. It's about a hundred acre alfalfa field, about a quarter mile from us. So we're trying to catch these deer coming down this draw, heading that way, hoping to catch does heading that way. And you know us behind does on November the 10th. So looking forward to it. I'll be a good afternoon. Cold front doesn't come in. It's about 36 degrees. And wind's blowing between 17 and 20. Steady and then good. But you can clearly tell that we didn't do a whole lot of scouting for this spot. I mean, there's corn cobs on the ground. They just picked this field a week and a half ago. There's corn cobs on the ground all over. But anyway, we're going to hunt it this afternoon. We got it on this west wind. And then, long as we, we got some other sets for north and west. And you know, they got Milo planted back here with beans last year and they had corn here, you know, doing the crop rotation. So. It's kind of in a little secluded field with this um, CRP all the way around it. And there's some more, another issue they had around there, but we're closer to where they're all bed. So we're going to try this out and see what happens. As the afternoon winds down, this front finally pushes on through. The sun pops out, and that stiff Kansas wind finally dies down as well. The temperatures are still on the cool side. 
Brad sees several does, yearlings, and young bucks throughout the evening. But with the wind laying down to almost zero, it begins to swirl, and it costs them a shot at this big boy that comes out right at last light. Meanwhile, Jordan's in a spot we call the Big Cedar Stand, and he sees several deer throughout the evening. <laughs> he even rattles up a nice nine point to end the first afternoon. But this buck mm, just needs another season or two. I think, I mean, I mean, many bucks we've seen four. I think four. And two does. But it's been an outstanding first afternoon in Kansas. This is a really cool setup, and I think we'll be right back here in the morning. Some blinds are built for the tough stuff. Some, not so much. Double bull blinds are field tested to be more reliable, more durable, and more adaptable with more ways to make you invisible. And the warranty? That's a lifetime thing too. All of which make the double bull difference undeniable. Double bull, be unstoppable. The all-new Broadhead, the most accurate archery rangefinder on the planet, with unheard of accuracy to plus or minus 0.3 yards, not to 150 yards. With revolutionary full-spectrum ranging technology, it delivers lethal precision regardless of target, lighting, or reflectivity for an unmatched advantage in the field. The all-new Broadhead from Bushnell. Tested. Proven. Accurate. The boundaries have been broken. Flight stopper pellets, blended with premium steel and deployed with the rear opening, flight control flex wad. Longer range, cleaner shooting, denser patterns. The sky is the limit. Black cloud. This segment of The Truth is brought to you by Black Gold and Ripcord. The next morning finds Jordan headed right back to the Big Cedar Stain. It's a cold and frosty morning here in Kansas. When hunting the rut in the Midwest, these are the kind of mornings whitetail hunters dream of. Let's get up here and get set. See y'all in a minute. It's a beautiful morning. When you think about, to me, when you think about hunting a rut and the weather you want to happen, you want it to be, you know, cold, but not so cold you're miserable. And we got, a, I think it's about 28 degrees this morning and pretty still, no wind yet. And this is the uh, same spot we were in yesterday afternoon and called up all those bucks. Is, uh, that's definitely an exciting hunt, but uh, I think we're in a good spot. It's beautiful. Hopefully we'll see some, see some this morning. And if nothing else, I'm going to be hitting these horns together and grunting and canning and trying to make a difference, make them think there's a rut party going on over here. 
Fred is a few miles north hunting a big draw where the bucks like to travel between the big ag fields and chase does during the rut. Nice, pretty morning. Man, we got frogs. We hunted this spot last year when we were here. It's a big draw right there. And it ends and what them deer do. We got a crop field below us. They just kind of come over this hill. It's kind of walking this, this draw real narrow right here. They just come back and forth. So, got a south wind hit us in the face this morning. Saw a few do yesterday afternoon, Jordan. Rattled up two or three bucks yesterday afternoon. It's a, the fun time of year in the Midwest, that's for sure. Glad to be here. What we love about the rut so much is just watching deer respond to calling. Whether it's young bucks, old bucks, or a spike, it's amazing to see them react to a call. We just enjoy the rut time and the anticipation of just never knowing what may happen next. Also, Jordan is having a lot of action in the Big Cedar. He's had bucks all around him all morning cruising and scent checking for does. Mid-morning, he starts calling and rattling, and boy, does it happen fast. That's a beautiful deer. But Mr. Jerry's wanting us to shoot mature deer. I think he just needs, needs another year to reach maximum potential. But if he keeps acting like that, he's gonna get got. The demands of chasing big game require the best of the hunter and their gear. The Savage Backcountry Extreme Series delivers. Each rifle is purpose-built for the off-grid, gnarly hunter. Six rifles, one philosophy. Phenomenal accuracy. Only from Savage. The only shooting stick with one-handed trigger pull adjustments has a new way to keep you at the top of your game. The Trigger Stick Apex. Built for sturdy support that adapts to unforgiving terrain with easy adjustments to make your big shots. With our Durasteady three-piece carbon leg design and interchangeable rock-solid clamp, nothing tops the Apex. The Trigger Stick Apex, only from Primo's.
It's peak rut time here in the Midwest, and old big country is getting after it. He's called up several deer hunting from the big cedar stand. After a young nine point comes in, he keeps on rattling and then spots the buck he's after coming in and looking for the fight. He's mad, got them ears laid back. He's looking for that five inches hurt. What's he doing? Come on, keep going. Mark. That sucker, he was ready for a fight, wasn't he? He came, buddy. Golly, he stood right there forever. I was like, this could end up working out, but it's a very good chance I'm not gonna get to shoot him. And he stopped in the only hole I had right there, like this big. Great shot. Dude. That's <laughs> awesome. That's an awesome deer. Like, I hit the horns together. We've been sitting there a minute, maybe a minute, and he came from 500 yards to 15. So pretty and from across. Oh, gorgeous. gorgeous. Hey, so pretty. first morning in Kansas. We're done. <laughs> We're on scouting mission now. Well, now let's get down and go look at him. I have been so lucky and fortunate to be able to see the rut, you know. The deer I killed last year, he came into the butt roar too and By far, my biggest deer was the bow man. We've had a fun week hunting with Mr. Jerry. You know, this deer he came into rattling and the buck roar, buck roar too. So I owe a whole lot to this call right here. It's made it's made me be successful for two years in a row. 
and that don't get no pretty of a let's see one two three four five look at this six seven eight nine here's a ten point oh man i can't wait to get back to the house show brad and lee You know what's fun with a bow? It's one of the oldest weapons in the world, and every year we are expected to build a better one. This year's product is to strive to get even more balance than we've ever had before. The sight, the stabilizer, the quiver, we're looking at how that all melds together into a package that feels ergonomically like one unit. And this is where the V3X has really come in strong. Primo's Hunting introduces the new and improved soft-sided bow case. Our redesign is the new standard in protection for your bow. New hidden backpack straps, multiple D-ring attachments, seven accessory pockets, and the new hard case quiver holder. The Primo's soft-sided bow case has it all for bow hunters. Check it out at Primo's.com. This segment of The Truth is brought to you by Ozonics and tight spot quivers. It's been quite a week here at Page Farms in Kansas, hunting with friends Jerry and Diane Page. While Jerry and his crew have been busy with the fall harvest, the feed yard, and getting hay out to all of their cows, Brad and Jordan have been busy getting after the whitetail. <laughs> With the rut in full swing here in the Midwest, calling can be very effective. Jordan rattled, buck roared, and snort weeds this big Kansas brute right into bow range. Make him scream. You want it? Yeah. Now it's time to get back to camp and show this big boy to the guys. Jordan has some bragging rights. Man, I've been I've been sitting out here waiting on y'all to get here for two hours. <laughs> well, well I, I called right after I, I rattled again, just right after we found out you shot a deer. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, buddy. It was fun, and, man. Um, I, I love a big eight point. But uh, we were sitting there, I rattled once, and the same nine point saw from last night come busting right to us again. Get out of Yeah. And uh, he came around us. He was at like 10 yards trying to find us. and. Uh, I waited, you know, all of about 10 minutes after that, and I rattled again. Cause, yeah, it's exciting when they did Golly, I, I put them binoculars like all of like two seconds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three you caught up yesterday, and how many did y'all call up this morning? Uh, three, two, three counting him. Dang, so that, that's pretty good. Six, so six bucks and two hunts you called I up. mean, like, rattling's working way better than grunting is. This sucker, he beelined it right to us. He got about 50 yards, and he looked, you know, looking to see where they were that fight he heard and he didn't see anything and he kind of lost interest for a second. Went smelling on the ground and I took the buck roar too, went just real soft and he went and just started walking uh, right to us. Kind of messing, he hurt his foot some kind of way too. Yeah, he, uh, he's old, he was ready for a fight. Man, man, well congratulations. That's a good way to start off the first full day here in Kansas. First morning set, <laughs> yeah. Well man, that's great. Well congratulations, I'm gonna go in here and get me some lunch and yeah. then make a plan for the afternoon. Brad, I'm afraid your plans ain't gonna pan out the way you wanted this year in Kansas. Over the next four days, Brad hunts daylight to dark, but the bucks go into lockdown mode with hot does. Poor Brad, that's two years in a row he's gotten skunked in Kansas. But that's all right, because it's what keeps us all coming back. Well, we about to wrap it up here in Kansas and head back to Mississippi in the morning. So, we'll be spending the rest of the season on there on our new place at Kudzu Bluffs. And we'll be spending the rest of the season, you know, December, January there hunting. 
which that's our best time. So we're looking forward to a new place, new experiences. But it's been fun in Kansas. Jordan got a nice buck, and Lake and I saw several good deer a few days ago. But the last four days they have been. I'm talking about lockdown as tight as I can ever remember seeing them in the Midwest. Like today, I hadn't seen a deer all day. November 16th is not supposed to be like that, but it is for whatever reason. So, anyway, it's been fun here. Like with Mr. Jerry, Miss Diane, and look forward to, to getting back, but back to Mississippi we go.